Britain's former chief negotiator, Ali Robbins, sparked fury in 2017, as he effectively ruled out a no-deal Brexit, unearthed reports reveal. Prime Minister Boris Johnson will announce a new plan with senior ministers this week, aimed at breaking the deadlock that has characterised the talks on Britain's future relationship with the EU for the past five months. According to the Financial Times, hopes are rising that a month of intensified negotiations starting on June 29 will yield results. Diplomats confirmed that there has been a shift in mood following Mr Johnson's virtual summit with EU chiefs last week, with both sides speaking of a new phase of less formalistic negotiations and a greater readiness to do business. However, despite the EU side signalling its willingness to move on key sticking points in order to strike a deal, it warned that it would not sacrifice its principles. Britain is also determined to maintain its red lines, including not asking to extend the Brexit transition period, meaning that the chances of leaving without a deal are now higher than ever. During the withdrawal agreement negotiations, former Prime Minister Theresa May had also warned Brussels that Britain would have left on March 29, 2019, with or without a deal, but her threat did not take long to become empty. According to a throwback report by the Daily Express, in February 2017, Britain's former UK chief negotiator Ollie Robbins was overheard in a hotel bar in Brussels openly discussing the Brexit talks. At the time, Mrs May was repeatedly telling MPs and the country that no deal was better than a bad deal. However, Mr Robbins, who was facing repeated criticism from Brexiteers over his handling of the negotiations, appeared to expect a delay. He was overheard saying, the issue is whether Brussels is clear on the terms of extension. In the end they will probably just give us an extension. 